Good day everyone, Black Pistol here, and today I'm gonna be showcasing a map that I actually made for the Bowtie Man's challenge videos. So um, this submission is actually been posted a couple months ago and I was interested in it and I was inspired to do this kind of challenge to impress the Bowtie Man. I'm not sure if I could even impress him at all, but I'm gonna try. So over here, I'm actually going to be showcasing what I've been doing. So right in front of me is going to be something that I've been working on for a very long time actually. I actually started this project like as a whole, like it's a pirate ship. This is the original idea. I actually built a pirate ship that has like double barrels that is connected with a bunch of wire wiring, like a bunch of redstone. <laughs> but um, this one is just more than a pirate ship. Like if I, oh, 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 don't look at it yet, don't look at it yet. All right, so this one right here is called the Redstone Howitzer Ship, all right? So there will be a link download in the description to a media file link. Um, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and show what I've been doing. Wow, <laughs> look at this. I mean, you can say that it's not impressive and all because you've definitely seen bigger projects. But hey, I've been working on this thing for so long while, while standing up. Why am, I, why am I even mentioning this? And this one right here is actually pretty big actually. The first thing that I built was this, this bear, these barrels here. These barrels here are connected. Well, don't include this one. Don't include this large cannon here. Um, these two dispensers here were powered by block, by block repellers. I would just call them block repellers. Shout out to you, both time man. Without you, I won't be able to make something like this. And it was cooked up to this 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 piston here that pushes a redstone a redstone block that activates um uh, shoot. So what I so it basically pushes a redstone block that activates these two pistons pushing this vessel block to activate this block repeller and basically retracting this redstone block and retracting this piston this dispenser here now this will be in fast pace uh, but I will go over to the schematic version this is the schematic version which I will which I have torn up the like the the shell or i was to say you, you you can say anything if you wanted to uh basically this is how it works so there's a lever as you can see it basically makes this redstone block push over to this piston here like uh there's two pistons here like behind here as you can see over in the full version this, this is the schematic version i can tear this open as you can see it basically fires this block repeller, block, block repeller retracting back its redstone block but this it would also at the same time it will trigger this observer chain because this one acts first so that this one right when it fires its piston its piston arm it won't it won't be able to fire this dispenser because it already like this dispenser here it's been pulled up first so that's why this one acts later so i'm gonna show you one side first i can show you the schematic version hold on so if i fire this one okay as you can see so you can pay attention to uh you can pay attention to this dispenser here that's been hooked up by this uh observer block and this arm here and this piston here so as you can see it basically pulls up the dispenser and this one has been triggered by this piston here because of this observer blockchain. But because this one, again, like I said, activates first, it pulls back this dispenser first. That's why this one acts later. So right when I basically flick down, uh, like extended back down this dispenser, this one, uh, this observer blockchain will, will cause two ticks because this is a normal piston. It basically like extends out its arm and then retracts it back. So there's two two block state changes. So that means there will be two tick pulses. So that's why right when this one extends back down, 
this one, this observer block will trigger two times, all right, uh, causing this dispenser to shoot two fireballs. All right, and this over here has been hooked up by this like little like this contraption here. The way on how it works is basically hold on. <laughs> It's a it's a bit hard to see actually. Hold on. It's actually a bit hard to see. Okay, so I know where it is. Uh, hold on. So basically, how this works is it basically there's this. Okay, so it's this one right here. This observer block here powers through this terracotta, powers through this piston, extends out this observer block, and basically it's going to toggle this whole this whole contraption. And it's going to fire these dispensers. Now, right when I flick off this, now right when I flick on this lever, it's also going to shoot these, these cannons here, both on both sides. Um, because that's how it is. All right, that's how it is. They fire a lot of times, actually. Now, I try to make this schematic and the, uh, I try to make, uh the this battleship like the same the kind of like a perfect height and all that stuff because otherwise the fireballs will just catch some some places on fire which i don't really like that to happen but it did anyway so i'm okay with that and you can also notice that this cannon howitzer here was pointing upwards and it's been activated at the same time that's because right when i flick off this lever this one is currently off I wasn't paying attention, but if I flick off this lever, as you can see, it fires four fireballs. So it's the same concept. Well, not really, but this one's powered by pistons that makes this observer block go downwards, triggering, changing its block state, and then activating these dispensers, causing them to shoot fireballs. So yeah. So the sight. So the side ones, so the side cannons are actually activated right when, only when I turn off this lever. And this one here. So the cannon howitzer and the side cannons will be activated right when I flick off this lever. The front cannons will be, act will be activated both on and off. The way on how these, um, this cannon howitzer works is that there's a redstone block here that powers underneath this piston, pushing up a uh, pushing up a redstone block, trig uh, activating these four directional pistons here. Uh, these four pistons, pushing these observer block upwards so that it doesn't trigger this uh, cannon howitzer. But right when I flick off the lever, this one retracts, retracts, changing this observer block game uh, like block state. Triggering these dispensers, firing their fireballs. Now this cannon here actually works as well. I there's actually a schematic that was I was working on, like right over here, like this schematic here. You can actually check out the schematic too if you want it. Right. So the way on how this one works is there's a button here that activate that pushes this observer block, triggering this observer line, and these ones, these side pist uh, observer blocks here. Will, will detect these ones that are that have this face facing these ones will detect changing these lines and then activating these dispensers now because this is powered by a button and because this because these uh these this observer block this observer block this one and this one their face are pointing at each other meaning that they will con uh, continuously just like uh, yeah. <laughs> now they're gonna fire a lot of times, so make sure that you have been cautious about the lag. Now this one has been torn up. The beautiful version is this one. This is the actual version. So this is the actual version, as you can see. Alright. Now these now this is the last section here all right this is the last section here these are the wheels 
Now I tried, I wanted to make a version where this battleship actually moves, but the problem is I'm not really into flying machines, so there's a problem with me doing that, so, so apologies if I can't do that at all. So the way on how these two wheels work is basically, there's a lever here. The lever in the full version, not in the schematic version, the lever in the full version was actually placed somewhere below here, not here. So it's, it's a bit hard to reach if you're not paying attention, sorry. <laughs> so basically this lever will push this vessel block. And it will activate this piston, pushing, uh, pushing these two observer blocks that are hold by that are held by this flying block. Uh, oops, sorry. Basically, it's going to trigger this observer block, trigger this observer line, activating this piston feed tape. Now, this is actually a piston feed tape compiled by observer blocks. I have made one myself that is also made out of a like observer blocks, but it's only one block wide. It's impressive how I actually managed to achieve that. Now they will actually move too fast to where the pistons can't even push, like cycle the blocks, unfortunately. That's how observer blocks are. They are one tick pulses. Well, zero tick pulse to be exact. Not one tick pulse, zero tick pulse. They're pretty fast actually. So yeah, if you want to go down into the battleship, use this uh like, little room here go down this scaffolding and you will see that uh this room here you can see there's a command block here that says kill mobs so just in case if you're lagging you can kill all mobs in the area so yeah <coughs> so yeah that's the whole tour now you can actually read the signs you can actually modify this version here the schematic version don't modify that one that one's already been completed you can modify the schematic version i've already torn it up um if you want to modify this uh the full version like this one here not the schematic version if you want to modify this version you can however but just be careful not to break anything because this one you can break something but this one don't now the way on how you want to modify this is basically you can just use a structure block copy and paste this version over somewhere else don't too, don't be too far don't be too close the area the, this area here is pretty big just make sure you copy this grass sign as well just in case because it's a lot easier for you to do this as you can see you can read the signs however you want i don't want to give too much spoilers uh you can even look at the turret that i'm working on but it's already been it's already been pasted over to both the full version and the schematic version i will make a version where the battleship actually moves but only if i know how to make simple flying machines all right i don't even know how to make simple flying machines and you expect me to make a working battleship that actually moves so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and uh i hope i make it into the world time man's competition <laughs> I, I don't think he will look at this honestly sorry <laughs>